No, it's still, still lost quite a bit of water weight, though. Still sweating right now. Does that look pretty? Okay. <laughs> hey Bryce, just talking about the start of fall camp. What's things been going like on the offensive line? You know, right now it's going pretty good. Um, you know, just trying to get into actual football shape. You know, it's always tough going through two huddle and things like that. Off the offensive line, you know, where you come out there and you lose 10 some pounds of water weight every day just because it's so humid, so hot out there. We are pretty blessed today, but, you know, just being up there, go out there, work out, try and uh, get into shape for the season. It's been really good. I know you. You know, right now I look at you and Cooney running the tackles. Talk about that that competition at the guard spot going on right now. Yeah, the competition. You know, it's really good. We we brought in uh, Spencer, and uh, you know, obviously Armaj and Michael Ford. They're playing. They, they've been playing that for a while. Um, you know, just the competition between them. It's you know, just it keeps building and building. It makes every single one of those guards better. Um, and yeah. What's it like to get Mike back for the fall camp after sitting out the spring? Mike or Dirt? Oh, the 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 yeah. Sorry. You know, it's really good. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's really it's really awesome. He's really good at being able to you know, navigate the whole offense, uh, being able to call things out whenever we don't see him. Um, you know, just having like a one true leader out there is really, is really awesome. Are you back at right tackle? I am, yes. Was that a, did that happen just for fall or were you doing that in the spring? So I, I, was, I was at left tackle for a little bit and um, – I wasn't doing as well as I'd hoped, and I kind of asked. I was like, you know, if I'm already playing really good at right tackle right now, I've, and I kind of asked if I could just go back to right for at least for this season until we need we need another, another left tackle. But uh, you know, Don Pune, he played left at his he played, he played left tackle was old school, and he's getting things done. He's doing really good. Yeah, is that something you were a little disappointed in, or you think, hey, like just keep working at it, maybe in a future? No, I was happy about it. I, I really I really wanted to go back to right tackle. I was I was kind of excited to go into you know the whole like woohoo for left tackles and stuff like that. But you know, I was playing it and I wasn't playing as well as I hoped and I knew I was I, I'm playing really well at right tackle and in the spring I was playing really well at right tackle. So it was kind of a relief whenever I asked if I could go back to right tackle and they said yeah. Bryce, what are you seeing from Logan Brown? No, he you know he tries really, really hard every single day. He's uh he's a, he's a really good player. Um he's he's really tough. Um, I think he'll be he, he's gonna be a good he's gonna be a really good addition to the offensive line. And is he going right or left? Uh, right now he's taking right. Gotcha. And then uh, we see from Calvin Clements. Oh, I love the kid. He's he's doing so well already. He's you know he's just a freshman and he's the way his body's moving already, the way how athletic he is, how his, his football IQ overall is already way better than mine when I was at that age. I think he's going to be here even this year if he plays or in the next few years he's going to be really really good. He's going to be something you're going to have to watch out for. Heading into the season, you got four starters back and some good depth. I mean, what do you expect from this offensive line this year? No. Um, you know, obviously the goal at the end of the year is to go and get that Joe Moore award. Um, we had a pretty good season last year. We had a running back go for over a thousand yards. Um, hopefully this year we might. Hopefully this year we'll have two or three running backs go over a thousand yards. Um, you know, just being able to, uh, you know, keep the run game going and have as little sacks as we did last year is, is always the goal. Obviously, you mentioned thousand yard rusher Devin Neal. What have you seen from some of the back backs behind him or other than him? Yeah, no, I mean, you know. Uh, we have Deuce out there. He's one of the hardest runners I've ever seen. All of our running backs are really hard, are really hard runners. Um, you know, every single one of them are athletic and they're, they're able to make a play. But uh, you know, all, all, it's not just Devin. It's every single one of those running backs. Even the, the brand new freshman that just got here. He's, you know, he's making plays out there. Already. So he's, he's doing really good. Um, I, I mean, you, you watch, you watch, you watch High Shaw. You're yeah, like, yeah. Dang, that kid can run the ball. You know, but and not just him. You know, you have. Every, you know, every single running back out there is really good. Yeah, and obviously, have you seen the progression for JD um, from now to where he was last year at all? Mm -hmm. Is it the progression? Yeah. Oh, yeah. sorry, sorry. No, you could. Um, you know, I mean, every single year he keeps stepping up as a leader, stepping mm -hmm. up, being able to r run the offense. Um, you know, even my freshman year, whenever he was a freshman as well, you know, he was, he was able to go in that huddle and take control of everything. Um, you know, and that just keeps improving and improving along with his skill.